Nainital, a charming paradise for nature lovers, a popular hill station of Uttarakhand surrounded by the mountains and the perfect vacation or vacation destination to beat the summers of India. After my travel to Varanasi, Nainital was so damn right in my list. In this video, I'll be covering about the places to explore in Nainital which are easily accessible by foot and pocket friendly. There will be basic places like lakes, bazaar and prominent temples, walking space to help you plan your day one itinerary very well, keeping it light and simple so that you can enjoy the real flavor of the city. And some amazing hikes with the view for your day two and day three to satisfy you with the valley views so that you can say, yeah, Finally, we are in mountains. Oh my god. Please watch this video till the end to make your itinerary very well planned, keeping it, you know, simple, filling and adventurous. And save it for later. I'm sure this video is going to be very productive for you all. So, let's rock and roll. Spot 1. Naina Lake. Situated in the centre of Nainital, in the eye-shaped lake is a tourist hotspot where you can choose to sit alongside the lake or take a stroll around and take a boat ride. Boating is a very popular activity here and they have fixed the prices from any of the corner you take, which is a really good thing, you know. My favourite thing was to sit alongside and watch people enjoying with their beloved ones or travelling solo like me. Spot 2. Naina Mandir Well, Google says this is the place where one of the body parts of goddess Sati fell when uh, Lord Shiva carried her body. The temple was reconstructed after being destroyed in the 1880s landslide. Even if you are not a devotee, you know, I must say to visit this prominent temple to take some blissful vibe of the goddess and understand how important this temple is for the locals. Spot 3. Tibetan Market a well-attractive market for shopping spree sold to buy some good quality woolen. The market is again a very popular amongst tourists. Note that the price of the items are almost in all of the shops are fixed and expensive so there's no scope of bargaining. Spot 4. Tandi Road or Tandi Sadak as the name suggests, is the coolest isolated street in Nainital stretches for about 1 km and is only meant for pedestrian. Local people enjoy here jogging on the sadak and stroll in the mornings or evenings time. This has always been the favourite place for locals from where they see the beautiful Naina lake view and the mountains which is surrounded by this lake. Spot 5. Mall Road Nainital Mall Road, a busiest road in daytime which passes through the center of Nainital and connects two main ends of the Nainital, Malital and Talital. All I can say is enjoy the walk, enjoy restaurants and street food, enjoy shopping and look around the Naina Lake view. Spot 6, Bara Bazaar. Now this is a local bazaar where the locals buy items of any kind. This is the old and hotspot local market to have good shopping experience and local flavoured food. Now talking about some short hikes, my favourite for the view. Starting from the shortest spot 1, Tibetan Monastery, also called as Buddha Temple in locals language. You can reach here by vehicle or by foot. I hiked till the monastery, the way is pretty steep but short. It was a 30 to 35 minutes of hike starting from the Mall Road and Google works here. This is an untouched spot, good for the positive vibe, meditation and for the Nainital Valley view. The place was suggested by one of the locals not many people know about and also you won't find any read on Google. I have a very different love for flags and the positivity that I get from them. We got such a warm welcome by one of the monks. We sat in the warm house, had some snacks and exchanged some really good conversation. Spot 2. Tiffin Top. It's a 4 kilometer walk 
or a hike from the Nainital town, an easy hike for beginners to catch the mesmerizing view of Nainital where you can easily spend 2 to 3 hours of time depending on your choice. The top is alternatively called as Dorothy's Seats. The hilltop resembles the love and dedication of a husband toward his wife who died in a plane crash. The altitude of Tiffin Top is around 2290 meters above sea level. There is no entry fees for exploring the Tiffin Top. Must go! Spot 3 Camel's Back, also known as Theopata, situated at an altitude of 2422 meters above the sea level. The mountain looks like in the shape of camel's back but basically a two mountains visible. We decided to trek all the way from down to the peak through the Satanarayan temple. Oh god, kafi steep rasta tha till the temple. Seriously, bahut zyada steep tha. We took somewhere around 2 to 2.5 hours time uh, to reach the peak and uh, trust us, take your time. After Naina Peak or China Peak, this is known as one of the second highest peaks of Nainital. View from the top is really amazing and we were fortunate to see the clear Nainital from the height. Spot 4 Naina Peak, also known as China Peak, the highest peak of Nainital, standing tall at 2,615 meters above the sea level. Well, China name has nothing to do with China. When we went on the top, we saw a small China Baba Mandir. China is an old name and Naina Peak is a new name. It is one of the best points to have an excellent view of the Himalayas, the vast expanse of Kumaon region and the city. The peak is around 9.4 km from the city, which is well connected by the motorable road to some distance. Then the 3 to 4 km trek starts, which can be completed in 1, 1.5 hours to 2 hours. When we reached to the top, it was all cloud covered. Well, mountains hain, you never know. Otherwise, any tal ka view kafi zada kadak dikta hai. That's what people say. Well, it was okay for us because we saw the great view from the camel's back. I would say to make your trip adventurous, go for these treks or small hikes, you will love it for sure. Well, Nainital ka places to cover through my eyes, kaisa laga? Do let me know in the comment section. I intentionally kept the places to cover in Nainital within Nainital only, not somewhere, you know, nearby places to cover near Nainital. So that uh, I can say, and even you can also say if you follow this itinerary that yes, we have done justice to my Nainital trip. I know Nainital very well. If you are planning to beat summers of India by visiting Nainital, save this video for your use and uh, thank me later. Stay connected with me on YouTube and my Instagram handle is called Khao Local Gumo Global for more meaningful and relevant content on travel. I'll see you guys in my next release. Till then, travel safe, stay safe and explore the world with care. Bye. Salam.